Smart Board Revolution Google Plus Community presents a Smart Survival Guide. I'm your host, Matt Granger. This episode is part of the Adding Interactivity to Lessons and Simplifying Lesson Creation with Widgets series. To find out more about getting the widgets, see my video called Using the Smart Board and Instruction, Episode 19, Finding and Installing Widgets. This episode will show you how to use the Checker Tool. So the checker tool lets you do just that. Check. Drag or write text here. So this can be pre-made. So I'm going to show you this one. So I already have one answer. There's another answer. And there's our third choice. Now we want to set up the actual widget to work. All the widgets will have a gear or sometimes an arrow or even three or four dots. That's how you open the panel to do the editing. So now I'm in edit mode. Well, here I'm going to put in the answer. I typed it without the capital. Once you have your answer in here, you have to click the plus. That adds it up at the top. Now the answer is in there. So I can have case sensitivity turned off. It won't matter. In this case, since you have the answers right here, you're going to drag them. You don't necessarily need contains because it's going to match the exact answer. But you just don't want the case sensitivity. And then the action. What are you going to do if it's correct? Go to the next page or insert text. I'm going to go to the next page because I have another example on that page. And then I can click OK. Now, my computer, for whatever reason, it's not refreshing the screen properly and showing the widget correctly if I go out of that page and back to it it reloads and now it's in there correctly so who was the first president how about Lincoln oh, wasn't Lincoln so I'm gonna click the X to clear it and now I can try again let's try Washington now if this is correct we're gonna go to a new page and there we are all right, so I have another one on here. So you can drag text. You can also write text in there. So you can have the text, the answer's already there, or the students can come up and write the answer using the pen. And I've already set this one up. Uh, I've put in Washington. I've put in Washington in case they misspell it. I've added those by clicking the plus. I've turned off the case sensitivity. Now, maybe they're going to spell it a way that I don't even fathom, but I'm pretty sure they're going to get the wash part. So I'm going to put the contains and put that up there as well. Even if it just contains wash and then they spell it some other way, it'll have it. And this time I'm going to do insert text. So when you click that, this box opens and now you can type in the text that you want to appear. And you click OK. Again, I need to refresh, so I'll go back, and there it is. So who was the first president? Student can come up, pick up a pen, and start writing. So maybe they put in that extra N. Okay, and it shows the correct spelling. And here is the awesome, shoots out to the right, so maybe this shouldn't be over there on the edge. So think of how you could use that. It could be numbers, text. You can have the answers pre-typed, drag and drop. They can write the text themselves. A good way to add interactivity, a little quiz on different pages in your notebook files.